AutoLine Daily is brought to you by Siemens PLM Software, transforming the process of innovation. Here are today's top headlines the day before Thanksgiving. Congressman McCotter gives us an insider's look on next week's bailout testimony. Porsche postpones its takeover of VW and BMW could outsell Lexus. Up next, we'll be back with the news behind the headlines. This is AutoLine Daily for Wednesday, November 26, 2008, and now the news. Are the big three going to get their bridge loan? Well, for a true insider's perspective, we had Michigan Congressman Thaddeus McCotter in our AutoLine studios this morning, and here's his take on what will happen. Clearly, when they go back, they're going to have to make sure they show the, the restructuring that has happened to date, the strides that have been made in terms of sales, in terms of closing the quality gap. They're also going to have to show how this has always been planned to go into the future. We all know that this is not the end of the restructuring process, however much we wish it could be. This will provide, I believe, the assurances to the taxpayers that the companies are viable, that the union and the companies have been working together and will continue to do so because they both know they're in this together. And then we can get Congress down to the serious business of finding out just where exactly we're going to be able to find the $25 billion bridge loan to get them to survive. You can hear my full interview with Congressman McCotter at www.autolinedetroit.tv. On top of all the headcount and spending cuts at Chrysler, CEO Bob Nardelli informed employees more changes are on the way. The Detroit Free Press says Nardelli also said Chrysler is not in a financial position to participate in a caravan of cars going to Washington, D.C. next week when the CEOs of the Big Three return there to testify for their bridge loan. In a sign that the automotive slowdown is not only hurting Detroit's automakers, Fitch Ratings lowered Toyota's credit rating from AA to AAA. And the AP reports that Fitch lowered that rating with a negative outlook, which means it may lower it again next year. Indeed, showing just how global this downturn is, Taiwan is preparing a bailout package for its struggling auto industry with subsidies and tax cuts. According to Wards, new car sales in Taiwan fell to a 22-year low in October. This downturn is even hitting the richest car company on the planet. The AFP reports that Porsche's takeover of Volkswagen will probably not happen this year. That's due to two things, the extremely high price of VW stock and the fact that the downturn means Porsche's cash flow isn't quite what it was. For the last eight years, Lexus has been the top luxury brand in the American market. But WardsAuto.com reports that BMW is catching up to Lexus. Both marks have seen their numbers decline, but Lexus's sales fell almost 38% in October, while BMW's only tumbled 8.5%. Only 5,000 sales now separate those brands. And coming up next, it's time for You Said It. Siemens transforming the process of innovation. It's time for You Said It. This is where I answer some of the many questions that have come in from you, our viewers, this week. Sean Walsh writes in to ask, what's the reaction in Detroit and the auto industry to the replacement of John Dingle with Henry Waxman as a committee chair? Well, sir. I got to tell you, it's a double whammy, Sean. Not only did the auto industry lose a great supporter in John Dingle, his replacement, Henry Waxman, is openly antagonistic to the automotive industry. And Philip Sparrow asks, if GM files for Chapter 11, what happens to Holden? And Holden, of course, is GM's operations in Australia. Well, I doubt that GM is going to go into Chapter 11, Philip, but Holden is a gem of an operation. And in a worst case scenario, some other car company would likely come in and buy it. Remember, keep sending us your questions and comments, but we'd really like to see you submit a video comment. Just post it to YouTube and send us the link at viewermail at autolinedetroit.tv. Include your name, location, and try to keep it to about 30 seconds long. You do that, and you just might be on our next installment of You Said It. Well, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. If you signed up for our email newsletter in the last week, you're eligible to win some awesome swag. To celebrate Thanksgiving, we're giving away an extra special prize, this in-car power inverter. 
My crack team chose the lucky person at random from our list of new subscribers. Pookie, the envelope, please. <laughs> and the winner of this week's prize is Daryl Zimmer. Congratulations, Daryl Zimmer. Don't forget, if you haven't signed up for our email newsletter yet, it's not too late. You can still get every episode of AutoLine Daily delivered right to your inbox. Just click on the newsletter link on our website at AutoLineDaily.com and join now. Anyway, that's it for today's show. Thanks for... <laughs> Pookie, what do you know about this? <laughs> anyway, have a wonderful Thanksgiving and we'll see you next week. <laughs> Visit our website for even more great content all week long. AutoLine Extra, Don's Journal, Podcasts, and even more. So click over and get the inside view at AutoLineDetroit.tv.